Hello to Walleton. It is time for Kitchen Science, where I get to combine two of my very favorite things, my kitchen and science. So let's do it. All right. So today is going to be a very good day because we are going to play with bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Any day where you get to play with bubbles is a pretty good day in my book, but today is going to be super extra special because we're not going to make the spheres, the balls that you typically make with bubbles. We're going to make bubble snakes. Let me show you what you need. All right, let's talk about what we're going to need to make our bubble snakes. We are going to need a few things. You're going to need a bowl. It doesn't even need to be this big. You're going to need to put into that bowl about nine ounces of water, so that gives you an idea of how big the bowl needs to be. You are going to need some dish soap, and oh my goodness, I feel like every single experiment requires dish soap, so make sure you got some of that. <laughs> you are going to need a plastic bottle. Um, the size is pretty flexible, um, but just make sure it's empty. This one has water in it, but I have one that's empty that I've already prepared over there. Optionally, you could get some food dye going on. It makes it prettier, it makes it messier. So if you are not mess averse and you like prettier things, use the food dye. If you are mess adverse and it's still pretty cool without the food dye, don't worry about the food dye. You are going to need a washcloth. And last but not least, you are going to need a rubber band. All right, go gather some things and then let's do some science. All right, it's time to make some things so we can make our snakes. So this is sort of a two-part process. You need to make some bubble solution. So to do that, you're going to take the water. You're going to put it in the bowl. <laughs> and you're going to add some dish soap. It's as easy as that, actually. Um, bubbles are, are actually really straightforward to make. You can add glycerin um, both to this bubble solution and really to any bubble solution. Um, and it makes it uh, better. The bubbles are stronger, but you don't have to have glycerin. And in this case, I didn't use glycerin. I didn't happen to have it at home. I don't think most people probably do. And you can absolutely achieve a super cool effect here without glycerin. So I put my water in my bowl. I used my trusty tablespoon and my dish soap, and I added three tablespoons of dish soap to my nine to 10 ounces of water. And then you're gonna do something that is kind of fun. I mean, for a, a little person in particular, it's very tactile. You're gonna mix your dish soap and your water with your hand because you don't really wanna create a whole bunch of foam on the top. Um, you could do it with a spoon if you're careful, um, but just try to mix it gently and that's gonna be part of what helps make this um, a really nice bubble solution. So once you get it, and you'll find it's it's kind of fun, like it creates a kind of viscosity that's interesting. So um, you're a little people, or you, if you are a little person, might have fun just playing around with mixing the dish soap and the water. <laughs> okay, we have our bubble solution now, and now it is time to make our snake maker, all right. So for that, you're gonna take that bottle and you're gonna cut the bottom off. So if you're a little person, you might need help from a big person with this. If you're a big person, be prepared to help your little person. <laughs> you can use, I used a box cutter. Um, you could use scissors really, because it doesn't, you can see my edges are not even, it doesn't need to be perfect at all. And you'll see why in just a second. The next step to make your snake maker is to put your washing washcloth on the bottom you know just drape it over there pretty straightforward take your rubber band and place it around the mouth and you know it's like this is a very weak not awesome water bottle and it's still fine so you don't need to really worry too much about being fussy about this like we've got a washcloth we've got our snake maker right here and we are good to go. Let's make some snakes, but first let's talk about some science. <laughs> All right, it's time for some science. It's time for some science. It's time for some science today. <laughs> okay, let's talk bubbles. Why do bubbles form? Well, bubbles form because of the surface tension of water. So what's happening is that the hydrogen atoms of the water molecule 
are attracted to the oxygen atoms of the other water molecules. And they're so attracted, they so want to hang out with each other, that they cling together and they form bubbles. Pretty cool, eh? Let's see some of this in action. All right, I have my snake maker in hand, and we're going to see if we can make those hydrogen bonds happen on a large scale. <laughs> okay, so bubble solution, snake maker. I'm going to dip the bottom of the snake maker with the towel into the bubble solution. Okay, just gently. There's no, no big fuss here. And let's see if we can make it work. See, you can make a giant bubble snake. Look at all those bubbles hanging out together. <laughs> now, I didn't use the food dye in this one because I've already ruined two washcloths with food dye. So, you know, if you don't mind ruining a washcloth, then go ahead and use the food dye. Otherwise, it's pretty sweet even without it. Look, it's all on its own. <laughs> Little bubble monster going on, man. All right. All right. Yeah, that is a nice, fun way to play with bubbles and learn about surface tension. Go forth and science. <laughs>